Hey guys, it's Tasha Mom. I'm prepping. You already know what time it is, baby. Get your drink. Pull up. I know a lot of you worry about this cup and me, and I'm going to hurt myself. Don't worry. I'm drinking on the other side. But get your drink. Pull up. Let's talk about it. This is the elephant in the room. This is what everybody and their mother is talking about, and that is the, the big collapse, the bank collapses. Um, how is that affecting companies? How is that affecting you directly, possibly? How is that going to affect you indirectly with our country and our finances and different things that are going on? And um, we are all the while being told everything is fine. Calm down. Um, crisis averted. You know, our leader has come in and saved the day once again. And everything is fine. You know, our Federal Reserve is going to come in, save the day, um, and cover any um, insured you know, issues, right? Um, any, anything that was insured FDIC is going to be fine, right? And so, hey, don't do a run on the banks. Don't go crazy. Um, but what caused this big bank, Silicon Bank, to fail was a run on the banks, if you will, from these companies, from these tech companies um, that were doing business with this with this particular bank and the bank was not able to come through okay and so um there's there's issues there's issues there's big concerns another bank has closed people are talking about other banks behind that closing and my problem is that the federal reserve cannot handle everything it cannot handle a total collapse with all these multiple banks doing this right um right now are they saying hey crisis averted they've got this fine um but i'm telling you as a mother as a as a person who is trying to keep her family afloat right and provide for hers i would tell you to not believe any of that okay and to be cautious about the moves that you're making you need to get completely out of debt as much as you can okay you need to not owe anybody any money you need to i'm not saying make a run on the banks and take all your life savings out of your bank but you need to make moves that make sense i just talked about this give yourself options okay um me, me, myself, and I, you know, we pay our bills, stuff's on automatic payments, all of that. But as of lately, actually, when I say as of lately, the last few years, um, that extra cash, I don't care if it's $20 or $2,000, it comes out the bank, okay? Um, so we've got the, the money in there to pay bills, do that thing, but th that cash comes out, baby. You've got to give yourself options, gold, silver, whatever it is. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just going to say you need to give yourself options because this is not stopping this is not stopping banks abilities to stay afloat is not going to be a thing that's going to last forever okay we are going to fall it is going to crash and this bank is a red flag for that being the beginning we truly truly are in the beginning of something major and this affects everything you know we already have an issue with inflation with folks not being able to you know pay bills and struggling to decide whether they're going to pay electric bill or a food bill right um so you're you're struggling you have people filing bankruptcy you have people unemployed you have people having cars repossessed you know you have a lot of financial um, individual crisis of people the average family does not even have a thousand dollars you guys um in their savings that's crazy okay a thousand dollars now i get it i've been there when the, we didn't have that kind of money right and so i understand we were like well that's kind of rude that you would be like i don't even have a thousand dollars trust and believe your girl has been there before okay trust okay my personal closest friends know of my financial crisis you know in years past okay i'm telling you what i'm telling you now is that the average person does not have this and the average person also just listens so when leaders say oh it's fine it's averted you're fine this is this bank thing that everybody's making a big deal about it's fine all these youtubers talking about these banks it's fine don't worry just nothing to look at nothing to see here just keep it pushing you know don't do anything crazy or rash and i would say that a run on the bank has a negative effect it does so like if all of us just went and said we're gonna pull out our life savings and we're closing the bank right that's a revolution like that's crazy because things will crash right um and i'm not saying anything negative of, against uh, investments and different things like that i'm not saying that at all i'm not a financial advisor but what i'm telling you is it is important for you to not just believe this curtain that is being um put down and it's fine everything it's nice and calm you know crisis averted it's cool just go back to living life and don't worry about it. No, you got to continue to worry about it because um, 
<laughs> it's it's coming okay it's just a matter of time okay now i'm not saying panic i'm not saying you should be freaking out um, I think that you should just calmly look at your situation. Think about how you have your money set up. Think about, uh, you know, if you do not have any emergency cash that you have on hand in your hands, um, you should do so in some capacity. Give yourself hard assets. Spend that money. If anything, spend it. Spend it on assets. Spend it on preparedness items. Spend it on, you know, um, your personal wealth, your personal, you know, skill set and self-sufficiency stuff. Spend it on that. Spend it on you. Spend it on your family, right? And your level of survival and what is going to get you through in this crisis when it when it hits, okay? Um, this is not to panic. You you cannot, you know, control everything. You you just can't, right? There's things in life that why get upset about stuff that is out of my control, I can't control. But you can control some of your options. You can control um, how prepared you are for a certain situation should it happen. You know, this bank had a lot of people in an uproar. I got so many. I was inundated. You know, I almost just had to shut down this weekend because I had so many people emailing me different information, articles and this and that and um you know, I had folks like, hey, you know, your Patreon, you know, I just started Patreon. We're doing great over there. I love it. And people were like, hey, I think Patreon is connected to this. I could not find that anywhere. Um, I just did a payout at the, at the first of the month. I guess we'll see next month. Um, but there is a lot of com um, companies that are listed that you can readily see on the internet, lists of all types of companies. You guys, this is big because this wasn't just a United States, oh, this bank collapsed and, and just Americans have to deal with this. No, you have Canadians that have have interest here you have the UK has interest here there's Asia uh, interest here so this bank is connected to all types of international business it's not just a local thing it's not just companies in California for example right this has a overarching huge um, problem this has a huge impact on any kind of technology startups a lot of those people Silicon Valley Hello, the name of the bank. A lot of those types of companies there. Somebody was mentioning Etsy is having it is is had already sent out kind of a notice saying, hey, there's a pause on deposits, that type of thing. What I noticed the most about all these companies that were listed was a lot of this money is not insured, you guys, meaning that Federal Reserve is not gonna back it up. And some of these companies already have kind of statements out saying, but they have this, this, this in line, and therefore they're gonna be fine, or hey, only 3% or only 10% or just a certain amount of the their money was in this bank so that's okay because they have their money spread out and so they have contingencies in place and they're going to be fine uh, but some of these companies were like none of it's insured they're they're done they don't know what they're going to do you know in the meantime the bank is trying to be sold to whoever's going to buy it i don't know who would buy it i mean it's just insanity right now when you think like i had to just shut it off there was so much stuff. everybody and their mother on youtube i almost didn't even do this video today i almost just kept it to patreon where i was just going to go left um and really just drop my whole thoughts on it because uh i'm just sick of it i am like really sick to death even though i'm sitting here doing this video i'm really sick to death so um after today's video this is going to continue to happen there's continue to be crisis um we're going to continue to see things be ready head on a swivel get you a little cash out don't have all your you know eggs in a basket everything in one location give yourself options spread it out be ready and just understand what's going on so that you're not like oh my gosh i didn't get my deposit or whatever right now the federal has come in and averted and saved the day right federal reserve um but how long will that last especially if other banks other major banks start going as these banks start going, there's only so much they can do, you guys. And then we go into a full-blown crisis, like catastrophe crisis, economic collapse, the stuff that we talk about, the big, bad, and ugly. We talk about recession. This is going into a greater recession, absolutely, without without even question. Um, people are talking about a greater depression. They're talking about a greater depression that's going to make the last Great Depression look like nothing, right? Look like cakewalk right so get ready for that that's why we prepare that's why we get the things we need that's why we get our basics our staples um, and we continue to push forward with our preparedness goals that's what you can control that's what i would say concentrate on that's what i would say give your energy and your mind and your thoughts to right worry about today 
um, and that will help feed tomorrow, right? You don't have to worry about tomorrow. You worry about today and that help feeds for tomorrow, okay? Um, be in the present and you're gonna be just fine, right? Um, if you're like me and you need to just step away from this, all this noise, so much so much static right now with what's going on and, and as should be. I mean, it's a big, big deal. Don't, don't get it twisted. It is a big deal. Um, but sometimes it can be overwhelming and you have to just pull back because it's, it's just too much. And you have to pull back because this is not just something that's happened right now and, and it's done. Um, it, there's going to continue to, to see stuff over the weeks. I mean, you have literally people reporting that this is the month that it's going to happen. And, and I'm not going to tell you that because I don't know. I don't understand all the ins and outs of, of, uh, you know, the financial world and banks and all this stuff and how that the intricate um, works. I just know that this is a big deal. The stuff that I'm reading that is happening um, and the things that have already um, fed into it that are going to continue to happen, right? You already have the American people that are, you know, don't, don't have a lot of money already and are living on credit. And, you know, please, please, if you're doing nothing else, just Take that money out and be paying towards that debt. Pay that debt down, pay that debt down. Everything that you can get out of there. You do not wanna owe anybody any money um, in the future when this happens. And I get it, a lot of people are like, who cares? Who cares about debt if we go into a full collapse? Hey, fine, but you don't know the policies that are gonna come and grow out of something like that, right? And I do not want to have any attachments or owe anybody any money that can be written into some kind of policy and now I'm, you know, pulled into something that I don't wanna be pulled into, okay? And again, that's like a rabbit hole type topic. But um, anyway, I hope you guys are well. Um, we're doing well over our Patreon. If you haven't joined us over there, please do. Please come over there. If you like the extra, if you like to know my true thoughts on stuff, my stuff when I go left, my conspiracy stuff, um, just we go a little bit deeper because we're not censored over there. I can basically talk about whatever it is I want to talk about, which I do. Um, so come over and join us. If not, if that is too much money, because again, here I am talking about your money, your money, your money um and so if that doesn't make sense for you and your budget of course stay over here free content um and for the meantime for the time being i'm over here every single day except sundays so i will see you guys tomorrow on the next video you be well um and be happy and be joyful and be blessed about the things that you have um and that god has provided for you if you do that who cares about all the rest everything is going to be just fine all right take care bye